at the end of the drift when you're nymphing, set the hook. I was watching and trying to learn from Fred Rowe of Sierra Bright Dot about on his technique of Euro nymphing. I watched him set the hook at the end of the drift each time uh, when he was doing out there on the water. And so I asked him to talk a little bit about that. When I'm asked about the success rate of indicator nymphing, I tell everybody I think it's about 40%. There's a story of a guy that dove and 150% of the time, the guy's fly was taken by fish. Every cast, a fish picked up the fly better than 50% of the time. That fish spit it out and a second fish picked it up. There are so many times with an indicator, I just pick it up to cast and there's a fish on the end that I knew, never knew was there. I think the Euro nymphing rod is about 80% success. When I drift at the end, there's a certain amount of slack that ends up in the system. It's hard to keep it tight all the way through. So I do two things at the end. I set the hook to set on a fish I don't know is there. But most importantly, I just use a setting motion to drive the flies off the bottom up to the surface so they're ready to cast. If I don't do that and I'm trying to pull the flies out of the water column, I can't make the cast because they won't come up out of the column. So that's why I do it. I figured out how to keep it really taut through pretty much the whole cast. So I'm only getting 10 or 15% fish when I set at the end. But I definitely do that to get the flies up so I can make the next cast. The other thing I do automatically without thinking is start the flies forward. So that helps bring them up on top of the surface so that I can make the cast and not have to pull them from down deep, which this rod will not give me the power to pull them off the bottom and make a cast. Cool information and something you can learn. Maybe pick up on your technique when you're Euro nymphing uh, to set that hook at the end of the drift. Fred Rowe is the owner of Sierra Bright Dot. He guides in the Eastern Sierra. He's on all sections of the Owens River as well as Lake Crawley and other streams in the area. Just give us a call, text, or email, and we'll put you in touch with Fred if you want to guide up in the in that area. And we'll see you right here next time on the Backcast.